Hi guys, well it's another rainy day here in Stettin, but in a few minutes we will meet the legendary Slavomir Itziak, who successfully combines a career as a filmmaker and a lecturer. Our location today is the first mobile center of audiovisual in Poland. Let's see what we're going to find out during the discussion with the author. So you're a director, you're a lecturer. Um, is it important to have so many skills in this business? I mean, depends what you're expecting. Uh, I spent most of my life uh, working. I shot 70 features all over the world, different countries. And I started my career as a lecturer. And by coincidence, it was not my plan. Uh, but somehow, you know, the first encounter with the students in Finland, it was, you know, over 20 years ago, was successful enough that they invited me again and again, you know, and uh, I learned that, you know, this kind of the contact is, um, is very important for me because uh, uh, speaking with the young people, you are getting away from certain cliché which you are having in your head, you know, so Whenever I am uh, talking, discussing uh, with the young people, they hope to be future projects, it, uh, it gives me a certain um, kind of the inspiration for as well my work. And for young uh, sinners, this kind of the uh, barrier, which is the first film, it's extremely important. The people are uh, very often after the film school, if the first film is flop, so never again back in the business because the life is stronger and they have to concentrate on something else, they are looking for the different job and it doesn't mean they are not talented. What does it mean? It means that if the, let us say, first time director doing the bad movie doesn't mean that he's bad. So maybe he got a bad script, maybe he was not lucky enough to cast the film properly. Mm -hmm. And investing so much uh, money in um, education business, we should take responsibility for the, you know, fate of the people after the school, which very seldom happens. You know, the schools they believe it's enough to teach, you know, and they don't understand what kind of problem, you know, the young people are encountering after finishing the school. And uh, I learned it many years ago, and uh, it was the first steps, step which I realized have to do, you know. Uh, if I like to help the people, let us talk about the future, not about you know what is around of us. Mm -hmm. So you know, if you are um, if you are in the film schools, a lot of people in Poland thinking about the career of Roman Polanski. It never happened again. It's you know the kind of the different kind of path of the career. Mm -hmm. We we are de we are dealing with different world. So. Um, Maybe it's a certain exaggeration, but too often the education, the film school is for yesterday, not for tomorrow. Okay. Everything develops so quickly, so we, if we are talking about the right education, we're su supposed to have a futuristic approach, which very seldom happens. <laughs> You know, I mean, the problem is very simple, you know, very seldom people understand the education of the would to be a future sinners and any other kind of art is different. And what kind of difference we are dealing with? Exactly what I mentioned, money. If I would like to be a musician, what I need? I need the instrument. If I would like to have a writer, I need a pen or computer. If I like to make a movie, I need a world of money. And somebody who is, you know, think about the curriculum of the would to be a institution he has to understand that only one place to answer the question who I am as an artist, one place to test, to risk, to make a bad movies is the film school. Okay. Unfortunately, very often is the case that you know the students being you know getting exams and being judged by the my generation professor. My aesthetic and you know your aesthetic different by definition because you are living different when I'm living different world. And very seldom this things are forgotten in the film schools. And this is exactly what I am thinking, building my workshops, you know. We are talking about the future, we are as well trying to take something which is very bad elements of our profession. Jealousness, festivals, jealousness, you know, school, jealousness. Some people better and worse. Go away with it, you know. We 
which piece of advice would you give to us film students? Working. Just Very working. hard, you know. And uh, <laughs> what is what puzzled me when I'm dealing with the few film students and not seeing them with the cameras, you know. You should Spielberg, whenever he's going for location scout, whenever he's moving, he's always having a small camera in his hand. Mm -hmm. Students not doing it, working as much as possible. I am always telling people, instead of making a beer party, make a previous party. Drink a beer and shoot the movie, you know, maybe you would get something interesting. You will learn, you know, you learn language, you can experiment, you can do hundreds of things. Working, working, working. Thank you very much. And thank you very much. Thank you. And I wish you all the best. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Same to you.